Now to the latest on the White House response to the catastrophe. President Trump personally pledging a million dollars of his own money for disaster relief. And he will be returning to the storm zone this weekend. Vice President Pence was there on Thursday meeting with flood victims and surveying the damage. Our chief White House correspondent, John Carl, was right there. We joined the vice president on a V-22 Osprey as he flew above the area Hurricane Harvey first came ashore. From above, you get a sense of just how much damage is out there, damage as far as the eye can see. On the ground in a neighborhood mangled by Harvey's winds, we saw Pence roll up his sleeves and get to work, meeting face to face with victims, even helping clear the brush from a damaged home. Is it worse than you thought it would be? I think the scope uh, is uh, is is truly breathtaking. In contrast to the president's trip here earlier this week, Pence made a point to see the devastation himself. We are with you. Does it do something for them to actually be able to see firsthand? I mean, absolutely the damage. I mean, because you can describe it to people, but unless you're here, you don't really know. Pence promises that Texas will get everything it needs from the federal government. But what about that threat the president made shortly before the storm, that he'd force a government shutdown if Congress doesn't fund his border wall? Any shutdown now would almost certainly hurt recovery efforts. Now, this is obviously not the time to have a government shutdown, is it? I mean, is the president going to kind of withdraw that threat? Well, look, the administration has its priorities going forward, but I will tell you, President Trump's made it very clear. Our top priority right now is dealing with Hurricane Harvey and its aftermath. President Trump will get another update on recovery efforts later today in an Oval Office meeting with relief organizations. And he and the First Lady will be back here in Texas tomorrow. The Vice President told me that they will be out with families in the Houston area. Robin? All right, John. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Michael Strahan here. And I want to thank you for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. Now, if you would like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, all you got to do is click on the right over here, okay, right there, to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thank you for watching.